So I finally made it into Yemen and we're on the Arabian Peninsula. First city in Yemen. catch fish and then they dry it in the sun. All this is fish. So much fish. see little small oasis here and also a lot of camels in Yemen. Here we got some small oasis. They're just a bunch of palm trees. Nothing special. So now we made it to Makalla. It's another city near the coast here in Yemen and we got dropped off here at 4 15 in the morning and so we have to go look for a police station to get our next permit to get to Sanna which is another long distance. Uh, we can see in the, the famous architecture here in the background. This is a building that you can see on the bank note and have a mountain in the background which you can't see right now. But it's very calm and peaceful here so we're gonna try to find some place where the police station is. We're not sure exactly where it is right now but we'll figure it out. This other side over here that we have it's a nice, uh, peaceful river that passes through Makalla, and many interesting things to see here, but we're going to try to catch the 6 o'clock a.m. bus to get to this capital city. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so we're enjoying life here in Yemen. In Al Makalla. Okay? With my Italian friends. It's very difficult to travel here, but we like it. Huh? Photo? Okay. So here in Makala, the local market is here, and it's only 7.15, but the sun is quite high in the sky because it gets light so early. And the only skyscrapers that you really see is about 10 or 11 stories tall here. And definitely no McDonald's here. I'm anxious to find out if there's any McDonald's in Sana'a. 
And the famous castles on the hill over here in Yemen, they're dotting the hillside, similar to the ones in Oman, but they're a different architecture style. We might try to go up to see one, we're not sure yet. But they're more squarish. So here we are, all the girls wear these nakabas. We also have this boat over here off the coast that's leaving, off the coast of Yemen, and that's going somewhere. It looks like an oil tanker. So we're just going to explore this town more. Okay, now we're going to watch for these vans because there's ladies in them and you can't take a video of them, but... Oh man, that's so fast. <laughs> It's hard to see them because they drive by so fast. Maybe it's impossible. No, there wasn't any in that one. We were trying to find some uh, girls with nakabas on. They actually all wear them here, in this village at least. But I have a hard time videotaping them because it's not allowed. It's rude to do that. But maybe we'll find some. No. Here's some vans, let's see. No, no, no. Here we go. No? Now we decided that we're gonna go check out the local streets here. And so it's kind of dirty here, but we find a lot of goats. Actually plenty of goats. Just walking amid the streets here. Just checking out village life here in Makala. It's not as dangerous as we thought. So now I'm here in Yemen. Of course, I say it too many times, but this place has too many flies and the garbage is everywhere. So I got some bananas for like 40 cents a kilo and they're Yemeni bananas. So the nice thing about Yemen is you eat your banana. And you enjoy the environment here. But since there's so much trash here, you can just throw it away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not